What's up guys, it's Andrew here. I'm in cabin one, um, and it looks like I'm already ready for camp. I've got my backpack, some sweet s'more roasting sticks, um, my camp frisbee, and everything you could ever imagine. Even brought my little um, scooter with me because you gotta have the fun while you're at camp. You might be asking, why am I here in a cabin? Well, every night, all of our campers know, parents, you might not know, we end every night right here in the cabin, everybody's sitting around on a bunk in a final five. This is the last five minutes of the day, and your camper gets to sit around with all their cabin mates and uh, their two counselors, and the assistant counselor comes in front of everybody, and they, they just give a very awesome word from God and a word of encouragement to their campers um, that might also point back to things they did that day throughout camp. Some, some tensions, some great things, some fun things, some silly things. Um, but I want to share a quick word with you. Um, something out of Matthew 7. So if you've got your Bible handy at home, you can even pause the video right now. Go grab your Bible. Um, if we were sitting in the cabin, I would say, guys, you got about a minute. Let's flip to Matthew 7, verse 24 through 27. Probably heard of this before, but I'll jump into it. Everyone then who hears these words of mine and does them will be like a wise man who built his house on the rock. And the rain fell, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on that house, but it did not fall because it had been founded on the rock. And everyone who hears these words of mine and does not do them will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. And the rain fell, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat against that house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. Super short little passage, but it's so powerful. I've heard this one countless times. Build your house on the rock. Don't build it on the sand. You want to be able to make sure that you set a foundation in your life, not necessarily your house, um, of course your house, but your life specifically, that you build it on a strong foundation, like a rock. A rock is never changing. The rock in this instance, in this little parable, is, is God. You're building your relationship and your life on God because He's never changing. And I think during this specific time, everybody and everything around us is ever changing. It's always evolving. We thought and I'm sure you thought at home that I will always be going to school. Like you can't get out of going to school once it gets close to summer. Well, here you are at home and you don't know when you're gonna go back or if you're gonna go back in the fall even. That's ever changing. But something that's never changing is God's word in his Bible and the Holy Word. You know, it's something that you can always go back to no matter what is going on around you. It's the anchor, it's the rock, it's the sturdy foundation. So I give you that word of encouragement just to send you out of here and to keep you level during all of this craziness that you can just find hope in this and have fun and just enjoy what God has gifted us with right here at your house or for us that live on property right here at camp. Uh, we can't wait for you to get back here with us as soon as that can be. And here, as soon as we get done with this video, you're going to be getting to see some other aspects of camp, but be sure to stay tuned for our next Final Five, because I think we're going to have a special guest counselor join us next time, and she is going to, uh, she's going to give you some powerful truth in her Final Five, so you want to be able to, to stay tuned for that one, so you know the drill, you know how to stay tuned, you need to be able to like this video and subscribe to it, and why don't you go ahead and in the comments below, Leave a comment, who or what was your favorite Final Five that you ever had as a camper or as a counselor that you ever led a Final Five? Thank you guys for joining us today. Stay tuned and we'll see you next time.